All right, today I'm gonna to show you how to make a dish that my whole family likes. Sawyer, Sadie, Sailor, Jennifer, and me. We all like these. Um, and they actually went on sale a while back and I picked up a whole bunch of them. And this is our last package. And I'm hogging them. I brought them to work with me. I'm fixing them just for me on the last package. Um, anyway, it's these, which are known as, this is calls them country style pork ribs. Um, they're known as country style ribs, boneless uh, ribs, but I make these combination kind of Instant Pot in the oven. I use the boiler at the end, but I'm gonna show you how to make these in the Instant Pot with very little effort. So first thing I'm gonna do is get these get these out and get some salt, pepper, and garlic on them. That's all the, that's all the seasoning I put on mine, salt, pepper, garlic. Okay, once that's done, I'm gonna take about three fourths cups of water or broth. I don't have broth right now, so I'm just using water. Um, and first, I'm gonna add about a third cup of apple cider vinegar to it. Now I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of Worcestershire cider sauce. This is a teaspoon, so I'm gonna three of these to it. We'll make it a tablespoon. Now last to this, I could tell you that this is optional and it is, I've made it without it, but I will tell you Sawyer says it's not optional and I think it makes a huge difference in taste. Liquid smoke. Um, this will help give that smoky flavor, kind of like making it in a smoker, but not quite that much smoke flavor. All right, first off, this stuff smells amazing. Um, every time I use it, Sawyer makes me smell it. Or makes me let him smell it. If you want a good whiff, take the top completely off. That is pure smoke. Um, now you'll probably be good with about a teaspoon of this in here. I like mine extra smoky, so I'm gonna put a lot more than a teaspoon of mine. Um, Probably closer to a tablespoon, but I like a lot of smoke in mine. And now I'm gonna pour this into the Instant Pot. Um, apparently I've left the rack in that goes in the Instant Pot at my house, but generally you put the rack in it next and then just pile the ribs on. And what's nice is you can do as much ribs as you want. I got one package I'm making right now, but I put two and three packages and I'll fill it to the top. It doesn't change anything, um, except the amount of time it takes to get it out and eat it. Let's get all this in to the Instant Pot, then turn it on um, uh, high pressure for 45 minutes. There we have it. We're gonna let that go for the 45 minutes. When it's done, we're gonna flip that thing over and let all that steam out, and then we're gonna put them on a pan with a little bit of sauce and get them in the broiler. And that's gonna be it. This is pretty easy, I think, for what we make, especially for something that everybody likes so much. We've got this steam releasing. And I will mention, one of the hard things about working away from home and having an apartment and all that stuff, is that I always have all the wrong tools at the wrong location. I don't have a pan just to put my ribs in and put in the oven. So I'm going to use a couple of these, these trays, put my ribs in here and stick it in the boiler as soon as it gets done with a little bit of barbecue sauce on it.
All right, so don't be surprised if these are really hard to get out and they fall apart while you're trying to take them out. But I got some glaze on them. I'm gonna turn the broiler on high and get them in the oven for just a, just like four or five minutes until the sauce gets kind of solidifies like you see on ribs and the outside gets a little brown. And there you have it. Our ribs are done. I'm getting them put up for tomorrow. But that's what we're looking for with these ribs. These, if I can just show you. I'm trying to pick up, pick it up and it just falls apart. These are so good and tender picks this way.